Recently, someone said in a comment in a video of mine that Octopus Energy have one of the highest standing charging rates for electric vehicle owners. Well, shock, they don't. And we're going to be looking in this video, who's got the cheapest electric vehicle tariff. We're going to be looking at all the companies to find out which one gives you the best price. So if you've got a new car arriving very shortly and you're wondering which EV tariff is best, I'm going to save you the most time by telling you and going through why not only standing charge doesn't matter at all, it's to do with the other parts that we're going to go through, but which tariff should be the cheapest for you and how to get the most benefit to get the best price out of all the tariffs available. Now the tariffs that I'm going to be comparing in this video are going to be from British Gas, Ovo Energy, Eon, EDF and Octopus Energy. Now small disclaimer, I'm a bit of a fanboy when it comes to Octopus Energy. I really do think they're a fantastic company. But this video we're going to be seeing who is the cheapest and find out is it the Octopus or is it one of their competitors? Because this video is purely about trying to drive the best value. But if you're after an EV charger for that new car that's coming, evnick.com forward slash charge. I do charge reviews, but Octopus Energy also install chargers even if you're not an Octopus Energy customer. So that's worth bearing in mind. Also, if you want to join Octopus Energy and you don't care who are the cheapest, you just want the best customer service and one of the leading tariffs on the EV chargers, evnick.com forward slash energy where there's a code, sign up to Octopus Energy and we split £100 between us. Always frequently revisiting videos like this to find out who the cheapest energy company is, comparing other energy companies to other energy companies and talking about all things electric vehicles, energy, heat pump and all that. If you're interested in learning more and keeping up to date with the latest energy tariffs, make sure you go and click that subscribe button and that notification bell but let's dive in to standing charge so standing charge is probably the least important figure out of all these figures because standing charge can be made irrelevant by all sorts of missing missing sort of like different tariffs so you could basically have a standing charge of a pound a day um, but if you change that if you're using you know a lot of kilowatts a day you just need to change this unit rate by 1p and that one pound standing charge is almost irrelevant even if someone was charging 0p standing charge so standing charge should be really kind of ignored um, however the most expensive person standing charge doesn't by the way have the best tariff but we'll go into who is the most expensive the most expensive is edf at one pound 17p per day standing charge followed by eon at 60p Ovo at 53p and then we have another EDF deal at just over 50p a day. Then we have Octopus at 49p on both their uh, energy deals that they've got. Uh, British Gas is 47p. Now you can view this as possibly British Gas has got the cheapest standing charge, maybe they've got the best tariff but again like I said it's going to change when we see the peak rates and also the off-peak rates. So the next least important part of the data that we need to know on tariff prices is the peak rate. And the reason it's least important, I'll get to in the end of this, but let's just first talk about who is the most expensive on peak rate. Well, it's Octopus Energy. So Octopus Energy come in at 31p a kilowatt hour. Then we've got British Gas at 30p a kilowatt hour. Eon is at 29p a kilowatt hour. Ovo's 26p and the cheapest here with the cheapest uh, peak rate is EDF with 25p a kilowatt hour. Now the reason peak rate isn't important is electric cars, your electric car is going to consume more electricity charging per week than your entire house load is going to use in a typical average home. Unless you know already that you have a really high peak load. So you'll know this if you have no gas and you're an electric home user. So basically you are uh, electric fire, electric underfloor heating, electric radiators. If you're one of these homes, then maybe this to ED, uh, these tariffs aren't the best for you and I have other tariffs that may be better for you. But they are the people who are knowing they're going to get high high load. Even people who work from home, they're not typically going to be a high load on electricity because computers don't consume that a lot, a lot of electricity. It's going to be someone who knows they are a high energy user already. So who is the best person when it comes to charging an electric car? Well, first of all, we need to get into a little complex detail here, which is OVO. So OVO have a rate at 7p, but it's for the car only. So not the house. So only the car gets the 7p rate. Now what this means is the car can charge whenever it wants and you'll pay 7p for the car. But the house will always pay the peak rate. 
regardless of if the car's charging or not. So they do this by just charging you the peak rate and then billing like a credit onto your account for what the car charged to take you down to 7p. Um, and you need a special integrated, a special uh, EV charger. Now, Ovo recently dropped an EV charger that they used to supply, but now they don't. We'll get to more of that in later. Um, and some of the other tariffs do require you to have special EV chargers to get cheaper rates, like the Octopus Go Intelligent one. And some of the Octopus Go Intelligent and Ovo chargers are cross compatible, so you could switch between the two companies if the deals got better between the two, and you could have one charger that worked on both. But bear in mind, Ovo have in the past, like I said, dropped a charger that was compatible and now isn't compatible. Now we have a joint first, which is at 9p a kilowatt hour, and those two companies listed here, one of them is EDF and the other one I wrote my script wrong, so I imagine it's probably EON because it's three letter acronym, so I probably put EON in EDF there. Um, Next we have Octopus Go. Now Octopus Go doesn't require a special charger. You can just go on Octopus Go, same as some of these other tariffs, and that comes in at 8p a kilowatt hour, followed by Eon. Ah, oh, so it wasn't Eon in joint first place. Um, Eon at 7.5p, uh, and then we have uh, Ovo, which is the 7p tariff, which you can only uh, charge the car with. Now Octopus Go Intelligent is also 7p, but the advantage of Octopus Go Intelligent is Whenever the car's charging, you get 7p for the house and the car. And Octopus Go Intelligent is an off-peak rate plus charging. So that means on Ovo, only when the car's charging will the car get 7p, but on Octopus Go Intelligent, the house will always get 7p, even if the car's not charging, between half 12 and, sorry, half 11 and half five in the morning every single day the house will get that and when the car's charging that the car also gets that but octopus have an extra trick up their sleeve to give you even more 7p electric hours and if you've got a battery or solar you can really reap the rewards so with octopus whenever they decide to charge the car you get 7p so what you can do with octopus is you could plug in as early as possible, that's the idea. Plug in as soon as you get home, or as soon as you've been out from on, on a nice day on a Sunday, for example. Like today, you plug in when you come back, and then Octopus will tell you if they're gonna charge the car. And if they might decide to charge the car at 2 p.m. today, if they charge the car today at 2 p.m. till 3 p.m., I get that hour at 7p for the car, but also the house. So you could run washing loads, you could run the dryer, you could charge your home storage battery during this cheap rate, and then when the rate goes back to the full peak rate, you've saved up that battery storage that you saved in or your car's already charged and then may charge again later during the off-peak tariff. Or it might not charge during the off-peak tariff, but you still get the off-peak tariff hours uh, between half 11 and half five. Now this gets even better because it also happens in the weekday. So if you're a home worker and you can plug your car in at 12 o'clock, nine o'clock in the morning, and Octopus deem that they need to charge it in the day while you're working from home, you'll get those home work hours at 7p a kilowatt. But Octopus do other crazy stuff with their customers, as well as giving these extra intelligent hours, all customers, Go and Intelligent, and even just regular customers, can get some other exclusive cheap electricity off Octopus. So Octopus frequently, frequently run free electric hours or two hours sometimes. And what that means is they'll text you the day before. In fact, as I'm recording this video on the 14th of September, they've just texted me to tell me Monday is an hour of free electricity if I plug my car in or want to charge my batteries. And what that means is that you can charge seven kilowatts to the car and house loads, run house loads and get free electricity. Now what they do is they see if the grid's got loads of green energy on and the electricity is going to be seriously cheap and they just tell you that you can have any extra free for free. Now what I mean by extra for free, you don't get all the electricity for free in that hour. If you usually use one kilowatt in the day at that point, you still pay for one kilowatt. But if you use an additional 10 kilowatts, those additional 10 using, in other words, 11 kilowatts in the hour, you'll get 10 for free and only pay for the one at the peak rate, which means that you can take advantage of it if you have stone storage batteries or you have your EV at home, you can plug your EV in. And what's even weirder about Octopus on this is sometimes they won't charge your car during that one free hour, but they still give you the credit as if you did charge it during that free hour if it was plugged in for that hour and they decided they didn't want to charge it. That's how mind-blowing 
octopus can be. Now that's why I recommend them. If you want to join them, evnick.com forward slash energy where there's a code there to sign up and you get to split £100 with me. Now before I mentioned the Ovo Drop to Charger, see that video here. And if you want to get solar and batteries like me, see this video here where you can also get some money off getting solar and batteries fitted.